just measuring my wall here for some cement work, and all of a sudden, it's hailing this pea size. Here it comes. Oh, those birds don't like it. Eighth of an inch. Cool, huh? Some guy sent me a video from was it Colorado. It was hailing so badly that it was coming down the roof of his house. He was in the bedroom upstairs in the garage roof. It was thick and deep. This is nothing. This is a little episode. The hail was so thick it was deep. Six inches deep, a foot deep. It was incredible to watch how much hail was coming down over the garage roof. Interesting, huh? Yeah, the sun was out a little while ago, like over there. Anyhow, my camera's getting wet. It'll wash off all the dust from the quarry. Storm. I moved it. I moved it. I actually went out for a walk. All we're missing now is a double rainbow, man. Double rainbow. I heard that guy, they were talking about him on the radio. How high he was. I think the hail is done with. Turned to rain. I had a fellow come over just a few minutes ago to look at my work that I have to do here. He recommended we take the staircase and move it over after my beautiful job here. Excavate this, cut this concrete floor back, excavate the wall a bit more, and put up a six inch hollow cement block wall. That's what he recommended. So we'll see what comes of it. And then build, what is it? We build that concrete column. All right, you got your hammer, huh? I'm in trouble now. Yeah. Bloody switch. Five dollar grinder. Grinder up! I just noticed that I got some water on the lens. And that is not good. Tape measure. Doggy bag. No Kleenex. Better than no Kleenex when you get water on the retracting portion of the telescoping lens. Oh yeah, that's a juicy one. Wipe it off. There we go. Okay, where were we? Just about to do some surgery. I'm not a mason or a bricklayer or a pathologist. I'm going to see if I can split this block. Find my sledgehammer. BFH. Cut it as deep as it'll cut. Let's see what happens. Yeah. BFH. Plunk. Uh, actually, this is the good side that I'm hitting. Whoops. Clunk. Those are five dollar piece stones. Let's try to hit it with a chisel. It's pretty obvious I don't know what I'm doing. There. That wasn't so bad. Split face. Let's see if I did this right. Except for mangling the top. That was inexperienced. 
There. Excavate a little hole here for the little tooth. Right there. Holds the wall from collapsing. See how our last stone fits. Boy, that cuts really well. I wonder if it's a DeWalt or yeah, DeWalt. Yeah, which one should I take? How about this fat one right here? Fat face or a concave face? Or Mix up a bit of cement, fill this cavity here so the earth doesn't run through. And then our wall to the neighbor will be almost done. Oh, I meant to dress that with the broom last night, get the fingerprints out of it. Oh well, I'm going to put a couple more blocks down there. Like the way the guy treated my fence, just cut it. Brand new fence five years ago. Just cut it. In the way, no problemo. Cut that fence. How does that look? You can hardly even tell the stones are totally different. Those and these. Anyhow, looks pretty good to me. Need a spare stone? I'll ship it to you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Boy, does cutting stone make dust. Everything is just fine dust. Wow. Well, I just cut one more for the corner. We're getting down the home stretch. So, let's see what happens here. Will I succeed? Probably. Watch the next door neighbor do it. So, he didn't look like he was that high IQ, so I guess I can do it too. Hit it harder, huh? Yeah. Almost. A little trimming to do on the corner. Oh, don't tell me I got a friggin'. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm going to put the camera away too. The dust is just unreal. This corner one, and we're done. This one's all done. All mucked into the corner. Look at that. Perfect, huh? Alright, I'm going to crank her up. Whoa. That's just a sample. So, oops, I pressed the stop button by mistake. All right, I got my goggles on. Safety. That was pretty easy. I just heard a story on the here and now from WBUR in Boston about passwords. There's programs to decipher passwords. So if you want to make a hard to decipher password, Periods, dot, 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 or exclamation points. Makes it a lot harder for the program, because they're very uncommon. Until the program's figured out, they'll have a lot harder to find password. I'm sure beats one, two, three, four, five. Just dots, or explanations, or hyphens, or dashes. If you're even allowed. Some don't allow you to use icons other than letters or numbers. Do uppercase, lowercase. There's a problem with passwords if you forget them or you leave them next to the computer. Let's see how this fits. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not a mason or a landscaper. Just for a very while on YouTube. It's 
Get her done.